Hey, Jared Smith here with another exciting gardening episode. It's been a while since I've made a video, so today we're going to do a uh, garden update. So I'm going to show you what's all going on in the back. Uh, as you see, we're back here in the garden, and I'll go ahead and show you bed by bed and show you what's new, what's going on, and uh, what I'm going to do to make improvements. So let's go ahead and get going. Okay, so we're going to start in the corner of the garden, right next to my composter. I'm going to go over here to this first bed. All right, and this portion of the bay, I know you see a lot of empty, bare soil, uh, and that is a planting failure. I was supposed to have a bunch of, of uh, what was supposed to happen in this bed, oregano. I was supposed to have a bunch of oregano in this bed, and it never uh, germinated for whatever reason. I think it has something to do with the uh, inconsistent uh, humidity of the uh, soil, inconsistent moisture of the soil, so um, that'll be something I'll try to do better for next year but what I do have is this big volunteer tomato plant here and this pumpkin plant which I did uh, plant and what I'm going to do is uh, once it stretches far enough you see that pole there we're going to make a trellis and let it go all the way up the pole there okay so I have trellised uh, pumpkins which would be cool so moving on down the bed, all those greens you're looking at right now, those are all beets. Okay, and I actually just got done plucking a bunch of those beet greens for a wrap. That was very good. Tastes just like Swiss chard. Okay, on the other side we've got onions. We're doing okay. In between, we're supposed to have garlic, but I had a late start this year, so I never got garlic going. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to end up putting some more um, onions, actually in this bed, so I'll just fill it up with more onions. At the end of this bed, there's some Swiss chard, there's oak leaf lettuce, there's some red romaine, let's see, there's cabbage there, there's another one, purple cabbage. That's pretty much what's going on in the first bed. Add another crop failure at the very, very end. I was going to trellis up some cucumbers, um, but that never happened, so I'm going to fill this in with some spinach or uh, some other lettuce, something else leafy and green for that. Alright, so let's move on to the first bed with the trellis that's already on it. And you can see there, I've got tomatoes down the side, in between, which is hard to see, so I'm going to see if I zoom up a little bit. You see I've got some pepper plants that are just starting. We'll see how well those do. I don't think it's going to be, uh, I think it's a little bit too late for them, but we'll try it anyways. We'll see how it goes. And the carrots. The carrots are doing awfully well. No problems there. Okay, moving on down the bed. Here's some peas. And last year that was a failure. This year we seem to be doing a whole lot better with that. In fact, I get close enough see those peas right so they're starting to form pods and should be harvestable here pretty soon I would imagine that's real cool put some more carrots down in front of them and um, actually that one there is a basil so that'd be nice when that gets a little bit bigger and some more peppers so like I said I don't know if the peppers are gonna do as well this year since I got such a late start and I'll talk about that here at the very very end of the video Talk about when I got things planted and all of that. There's another volunteer tomato plant. That one's a volunteer. Those I put in. They're right up next to the trellis. Okay. But that one volunteered. And I'm okay with that. I'll eat that volunteer plant. Um, next to it, it's a lovely dill. Okay, got some dill plants there. And then some more crop failure, and I can't honestly remember off the top of my head what I was supposed to have planted here. I'm pretty sure it was an herb, though. I'm pretty sure some herbs were supposed to go in this bed. But it looks like I got some volunteer wild strawberry plants. So we're going to see what those turn into. Those look like strawberries. I'm going to let them grow. It might be just a weed, but I think it's... I'm pretty sure those are strawberry plants. So we'll let those grow out and see what, see what happens with that. Here's the bed behind me. And we'll go down to the very end here. Now, I'm doing something a little different. I don't think anybody's done this. I'm growing some, uh, at least not in this area, growing some peanuts. So, here's a peanut plant. You can see that there's flowers on it. 
It typically is an indicator that uh, fruits are going to come soon. I've got several of those interplanted with more beets. So what you're looking at there kind of looks like Swiss chard. It's actually more beet greens. I guess I had a wrap with those. It was delicious. All right, moving on. These two big bushier sections are bush beans, okay? So I planted a couple of rows of, of bush beans, and they are flowering. Let me see if I can find one for you guys to see. There's one. You can see it right there in the middle. A little purple flower. Flowers on plants typically means that uh, fruits are going to be harvest, harvestable pretty soon. Uh, let's see, I believe that there is broccoli. They got a few broccoli plants here. One of them might be cauliflower. I think those are all broccoli though. And then in the middle, smaller, and they won't be harvestable until, until the fall, but they got some Brussels that are, that are starting off there too. So, got some Brussels. At the end of this bed, I'm planting some more greens. These are not doing as well. I shouldn't say they're unhealthy. They're just not as big as the other ones. Um, there's the red romaine, oak leaf in the middle. We got a whole row here of um, the red, the purple cabbage, rather. And then Swiss chard. And these chards turn different colors than the other ones in the other bed, which is cool. It's a rainbow mix. So I'm alright with that. Move on, next bed. Now this bed's another bed where I had um, a rather major failure due to the birds, okay? I was trying to plant sunflowers in with the squash plants that you're looking at right here. And they're also down at this end. I was going to put sunflowers in between each of the plants, um, each of the squashes, but the birds kept eating them. Okay, they actually like the... Um, sun shoots and the same thing is true of my watermelons. I was going to grow a watermelon in this first bed here next to that pumpkin. And birds just ate them. So I never got those off the ground. So next year I'll start those with a cover um, next to them and I've already cropped those out so I have to replant them but there were some radishes. You can see where I plucked that one up. I kind of chopped and dropped that one right where it was. It wasn't any good. And I put some carrots in between. So I'll have um, pretty soon. I'm not going to do this today. I'll probably do it tomorrow. I'll put a row of radishes here, another row of radishes all the way down there. That's where I harvested the other bunch. Okay, chopped and dropped a few of them because they weren't weren't any good for me. And in the middle, I think I'm going to put more carrots. There's some carrots there, as you can see. Um, not all of them germinated really well. And then there are some onions that uh, volunteered themselves in there too. So, um, carrots and onions, not bad. They'll be alright next to each other. Last bed. Now, this again was an area where I was planning on plant, uh, planting crops that just didn't get into the ground because it was just too late. Artichokes and um, garlic. So, that that didn't happen in this latter part of the bed. I'll have to fill it in with probably more of what you see down there, which is the red romaine and the oak leaf lettuce. Along the trellis, though, which was really exciting for me, um, this, I did get some cucumbers. So there's one of my cucumbers. There's a few more down there at the end. We'll get to that in a second. And then I'm growing this year for the first time Malabar spinach. And again, I don't know if I have a long enough season or if I started these early enough that... Um, I'll be able to get anything really good and harvestable from them, but they are germinating. That one there looks like amazing compared to the others anyways. And then pole beans, which I tried to grow last year, but didn't do so well because I didn't do good with uh, pest control. This year is much better with pest control and the beans are taken to the trellis quite nicely. They were very easy to train up that way. And then like I mentioned down here, we have our cucumbers and a couple more Malabar spinach plants. These cucumbers aren't quite as big. They don't get quite as much sun as they do as the uh, plants on the other end of the bed does. A few more 
uh, what are those? Peanut plants. A couple more peanut plants. And I had um, spinach in here, so this wasn't all empty dead space. This was all filled in with spinach, but uh, as you can tell from some of the cuttings, it went to bolt. Okay, and once it did that, obviously there's nothing you can harvest from it. It's just going to seed at that point. And so I chopped it and dropped it right where it was. And that's fine. A lot of people would take that stuff and, and take it out of the garden. But I just chopped it and dropped it right there. It'll decompose, add back to the soil, and be ready for the next crop of plants. So that's the garden in a nutshell. Oh, I did some rearranging also. I finally got my uh, composter in the garden space. It would be in my face. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about shaking the video so much. Um, but there's a uh, there's my composter. Put it up on a couple of skids, and um, I harvested both sides of that. I should say a, um, a little while ago. They were in these buckets, and I spread it all over the garden. So if you look down, you notice how dark top soil is, uh, the top part of the soil is, that's because that's all compost. Okay. Whereas before it was a lot of clay, you had this uh, lighter brown color underneath of it. So, um, composter is working really good. It's from, a comp it's from an American company called uh, Good Ideas Incorporated. And I like it. It's a gift from Dad. So, thanks Dad. Appreciate it. Definitely coming in handy. Hopefully you liked that video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Talk to you guys later.